and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I've been loving in the past month of April. Um, I can't believe we're already in May. That is just crazy. But I'm pretty excited because this weekend I've been waiting for something for ages and that is the Badminton Horse Trials. Um, I've wanted to go since I was a little girl and it's finally coming true. So I'm really excited. And if you're wondering why my hands are moving, because on my lap is this little pug um, called Lila. And I guess she can be my first favourite of May, although she's going to be a favourite every month if I start doing that. Um, she's a little pug that we're looking after at the moment. Uh, Alfie loves her, in case anyone was wondering. But she is super cute, super friendly. I'll try and get her a little bit closer to the screen. You look at the screen. She's a bit shy, um, which is funny because she's never been shy once before. And now that the camera's in front of her, she's a little bit shy. But now I'm going to move on to some more normal favourites that I like to include. So I think I'm going to start with a fashion favourite and these are my Chloe Susanna boots. They sometimes look a little for wear but I assure you they're just very highly loved. Um, these are so comfortable, they weren't when I first got them, um, I had to get them stretched and they were hell and I got blisters but now literally the comfiest boots and here in London we're still having some really chilly days. It's not really that warm yet. I mean, today as I film, I think it's going to be 21. So that's pretty exciting for us Londoners. Uh, but these are the most comfortable boots now. I absolutely love them. They go with pretty much every outfit, whether it's a pair of light denim jeans or some black pants uh, or some shorts or a skirt. They go with everything and I just think they're so beautiful. They're such a statement in their own kind of way. I, you could wear a really simple outfit and then wear these and they would make all the statement that you need. Um, but th these are my first favourite. So moving on to homeware, I went to Oliver Bonus earlier this month, or when I say earlier this month, I do mean earlier this month as in April, and I picked up this super cute um, candle, no not candle holder, I was about to say candle holder because I have got a candle to show you, but these matches, um, I don't know if you can see these, but how super cool is this? So basically, you kind of tip them like this, you can take a match out, and then on the bottom, there's a kind of, I don't know what you call it, but that's where you like, like the matches. So this is really cute. I haven't really been using them because I think it looks really lovely um, on my coffee table alongside the candles, but this is from, as I mentioned before, Oliver Bonus, but I will link everything below. So my next homeware favourite is also from Oliver Bonus, and it is this candle, which actually matches my nails. Um, it's the Elderflower and Lime candle, and I find these a really good alternative if you don't want to go and spend, you know, £45 on a Jo Malone or a um, Diptyque candle. These are still quite pricey, they're £29. You get a little bit more, these are a little bit bigger um, than the two candles I just mentioned, which are definitely my favourite, but I kind of wanted to switch it up and this light blue kind of packaging makes it so summery and I love elderflower in the summer. So you definitely need to go and check this out and as you can tell, it's definitely been a favourite because it's nearly all gone. So my next favourite is something really weird. It's not really weird, but it's quite simple. It's the Lux London um, City Guide. And even though I live in London, sometimes it's fun to actually read the guides and see what they suggest because sometimes, not the generic guides, but some of the smaller guides or different guides you might find in bookstores actually show some really interesting things I would never have thought of doing. And that's what I really, I find fun because sometimes you think you've done everything and because you live somewhere, you've seen all the sites and seen everything there is to offer. But then when you actually read some interesting city guides, you find there's some more different things that you could do on your weekend. So I definitely recommend this little Lux City Guide if you are coming to London. So now I'm going to move on to... She doesn't want me to move on to anything. She's just here chewing my hands, which is really uncomfortable. Um, but I'm going to move on to beauty slash bath, that kind of category. So my first thing is this Bastise. I could be completely saying this wrong, but it's this Bastise bright and lively floral dry shampoo so i don't really think it smells florally or like flowers um but it does what i want it to do and that is make my hair more acceptable when i maybe should have washed it the night prior 
Um, I was going to say, I mean, I use this most days because my hair can look really flat quite a lot of the time. It hasn't got much volume. I mean, this is my hair quite naturally. I washed it last night and this is how it is. Uh, so I definitely need this to help me kind of brighten my hair up and this is the one I've been loving this month. Moving on to another favourite that I know I mentioned last month, but it technically was a different one. It's the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit. This is now this month in Candy K which I thought I didn't really like as much because it was quite dark, but it's what I'm wearing today. And combined with my second favorite is this Lancome uh, Juicy Shaker in Melly Melon. And that's what I've been wearing with this. And that's what I'm wearing today. And it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a pinky vibe rather than the deep brownie pink vibe, if that makes sense. So if you're experiencing a slightly different angle now, it's because Pugalug, not really called Pugalug, decided to walk under the tripod and knock it and the whole thing kind of fell forward. And of course now I can't quite remember the angle it was. I think that's quite similar, but I'm sorry if it's slightly changed in this um, next these images. But basically, these are my three items I've been using on my lips every single day. So I have three more beauty slash bath favourites. The third last being this perfume by Dior, Poison Girl. I absolutely love this. I got this a few months ago, duty free. And because being a girl, I have so many perfumes and I just kind of go through stages where one's the one I use or I just use all of them. But for the last month, this is what I've been going for every single day. This makes me think of summer. It just smells, oh, it smells so good. It's just, it's really, it's quite sweet. So if you don't like sweet um, scents, this is not probably for you. But you should definitely go check this out because I'm not usually a sweet scent kind of person and I really, really like it. So my second last favorite is this Maybelline Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Perfect Cover and Concealer. This is a good drugstore favorite that I have used for quite a while now. I um, got this tip off the channel Amelia Liana she has great videos, so I'll link her channel below. Um, but this I use for under eye, not really for covering spots. It's more for brightening, and this is this is fantastic. This is definitely what I've been using all the time. So my last beauty favourite, I had to run to the shops to get another one because I thought I can't show you a completely empty bottle. But it is this Raspberry Kiss from Treacle Moon. It was really inexpensive. It's a bath and shower gel. It was only, I think... £2.50 or £2.99. So if you're in Australia, that's about five, six dollars. I'm um, in America, four or five dollars perhaps. But this is heaven. This makes you come out of the shower and you feel like it's summer. You feel summer basically. You are summer. Um, it smells divine. Oh, it smells really, really good. But basically, they have a few different ones in the range. But when it comes to shower gels, different to perfumes, I know I do love that sweet summer kind of smell. The other one I have in my shower is also a raspberry one, but it's got vanilla in it. Anyway, me and Matt are going through these like there is no tomorrow. You kind of fight, you don't even use soap, you just use this. Because sometimes I'll use soap and then I'll put this on kind of just to rinse over me. But I literally use this so much. Oh, it is just, it is really gorgeous. So that is it for my April favourites. I would love to hear what you've been loving in the past month. So if you could leave a comment with a product that you think I should try out or that you've been loving, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, please subscribe. I just got to 1,500 subscribers, which is really, really exciting. Uh, please give this a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>